Points of View is a database we offer through the Walter State Library to help students find varying viewpoints on controversial topics. To access this database, go to the library's website and choose Academic Databases on Campus on the left-hand side. In this list, scroll down and choose Points of View. When prompted, click on Points of View again. You will be brought to the Points of View Reference Center. If you so choose, you can browse topics on this page. Let's use the same topic we were using in an earlier tutorial, nuclear energy. It's actually in the list of references brought together for nuclear power. I can click on this option to find out what resources have already been brought together on this topic. Because the topic was in the list of prepared topics in the database, I'm brought to a short overview of nuclear power. This overview will help me familiarize myself with basic terminology, history of the topic, and it will provide a detailed bibliography for further reading. Tools that show up in most databases show up here as well. I can print or email the document to myself, or I can save a copy to my flash drive or to my computer. At the libra library, we always recommend that you save or print a copy of your sources somehow so that later you have all the information you need to use and to cite a particular source. To save this source to my computer, I click Save. My saved document will include all the information I need to correctly cite the source, and in this case, I can dictate which format I'll need for my paper. English courses generally use MLA format, but this could vary by discipline. Choose MLA here and click Save. The article will open in a separate window. Be sure to read the instructions at the top. Depending on the browser you are using, the instructions for saving the document will vary. Because I'm using Google Chrome, I will right-click here and choose Save As. As you can see, if you're searching for a paper topics, Points of View offers a great way to get acquainted with a new research subject. Let's assume that nuclear power did not show up in the reference list. We can search for it in the top left-hand corner of the home page. I'm given a list of results, and in this case, the database has limited my results to points of view, which are opinion and editorial articles. However, depending on the types of sources my instructor has specified that I need, I can change or broaden those re results to include magazines, academic journals, newspapers, and other types of results. To get scholarly sources, I need to choose academic journals. Now my list is made up of academic journals only, as indicated by the icons next to each entry. Let's choose one of the academic sources. Here, I can read an abstract of the article or a brief summary of its main ideas. I can also look at the full text PDF. The PDF will be displayed within my browser. I can read, print, or email as I did before, and don't forget that the citation tool is incredibly useful in keeping information so that you can cite your document. Just choose the format that your instructor requires and then copy and paste the full citation into a Word document. That's the database Points of View, a great resource for finding multiple viewpoints on controversial topics. If you need further help with using any of our databases, don't hesitate to call the research coaches at 423-585-6946 or email us at library at ws.edu.